Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bad. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. And as usual, if you're new to the channel, I like to extend a warm welcome. Throwback Thursday is still in full effect, y'all. And so I'm back out here. It stopped raining. And so I got the Inductrix to fly. About to let y'all see how this guy flies. I already talked about it a little in the Blade Nano QX video. And so I won't talk about it much. I'll just give you a, a little about it. Uh, this thing was the start of the Tiny Whoop craze. <laughs> because people started slapping cameras on top of these and flying them FPV. And that uh, this thing actually birthed the Tiny Whoop or helped birth it anyhow. And so, uh, yeah, I this was actually a Tiny Whoop. And... I converted it back to the Inductrix because Tiny Boops have evolved since then. <laughs> and so now I have my Blade Inductrix back. And it still has the motors on it from when it was a Tiny Whoop. And so the motors from the original Inductrix are not as powerful as these. People were buying upgraded motors with a higher KV in order to be able to lift the camera to fly on their tiny whoops and so when I converted this thing back I forgot to remove the motors and put the stock motors back on it <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna do it though so this thing has more powerful motors and it makes for a better flyer more powerful flyer but it always has been a really great flyer and I think that's why people started uh, putting cameras on top of them flying them uh, FPV as tiny whoops but anyhow, let's get this guy in the air now. It's on DSM-2 protocol. <laughs> so let's take off with it. Very quiet. You can barely hear this thing. Let's have a look at the yaw rate. It's a really fast yaw rate. It does awesome funnels. Check it out. I think this thing flies better than the Blade Nano QX. I like to do manual flips with it. Oops, I almost did a double manual flip. <laughs> Let's try it again. Here you go. Sheesh, I think I could pull off a double. <laughs> Really awesome flyer. Check it out. It's an awesome indoor flyer too, but this thing flies great outdoors too. I think the ducted fan design makes it more powerful. And this does have acro, so let's go into acro. We're in acro mode now. Again, the light turns red just like on the uh, Nano QX. So let's see if we could do a... Let's get it over here close. See if we could do a power loop with it. <laughs> and I tried to do the power loop too wide. Doesn't have that much power, even with these uh, more powerful motors. Let's go up. Huh, and I went down. I kind of lost orientation. Uh, that's the only thing about this guy. It's hard to see orientation with it. Hard to keep your orientation kind of. So I got the rear props red and the front pops gray
<laughs> Went down with it. There's a little black cat over there too. Uh, just watching. I think the battery is dying on this guy. It's got really weak on me. Yep, let's go back to, we're back in angle mode. I'm going to fly over and mess with that cat, see what he's, what he's doing over there. He's just looking. He doesn't seem phased by it at all. He's just looking. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> so this guy is not the fastest quad in the world. But it does fly awesome though. Again, no real LVC warning with this guy because it's really not any bright lights on it. It does have a set of four lights on it, white in the front, red in the rear. But this thing is so small and the lights are so close, close together. And with the uh, ducted fan design and all, you can barely see that stuff. You can't see it when you're flying away from yourself. I guess you might be able to see this thing at night. I really haven't tried this at night. The cat's on the move. Let's see if he's going to try to get me. <laughs> nope. He doesn't care. And this thing seems like it's dying. Let me bring it in. So a quick flight of the Blade Inductrix out here at the park. Um, it's an awesome flyer, it does have acro. The only downside to this is its uh, shape and all. You can't really see um, clear enough. There's no distinction in the front and the back. And so it's a little hard to keep your orientation. I would recommend forward, constant fl forward flight. Kind of helps out with that. The Blade and Duchess. Thanks for watching. Look, kitty. Let me bring it over here before it dies and then he try to get it. <laughs> Yep, and it's going down. I brought it over just in time. 